Hi, my name is Luke Cuesta. You're watching the KVK channel. And today we are interviewing Mr. Stewart. Now, Mr. Stewart, how long have you been a dual judge? I've been a dual judge for six years. I've been a rabbit judge for 22 years, though. So, what type of bees do you raise? Well, I don't currently raise cavies. I used to raise Teddy Tyrones, but I raise French Angora rabbits. So, we know that you've been studying on the broken variety for the past year. Could you tell us what you learned about the variety? Well, what I've learned is there's, with the broken Americans, there's not, it's very different than broken rabbits where we have a clear-cut pattern that we're looking for. One of the things that I learned this past year was that it's a little bit subjective, and it's called an artistic interpretation of the standard as far as what's the best you know, for a broken pattern. Did you want us to look at a couple cavies and kind of go over them? What seems to be the most important is to have clear-cut patching and that it's equally distributed. But they're different than the tortoise shells where you actually have a checkerboard pattern. And for instance, on this KV, you can see how clean the patches are. And we might fault it a bit for distribution as it tends to be more on its left side. And we've got the white over here, but this would be a patch. Now on our, our lemon agouti, that patch could be bigger so it would be more equal distribution with the other colors. And what I also learned is that even with your patches, you may have one patch, let's say, on one side and the other side, you, one could argue that they are equal distribution, even though you're not seeing it represented on both sides. Now on this one, this looks, it, it's definitely colorful, and you've got a lot of distribution, but you fail in some of your clean cut edges on your patching. Do you find that has to do with hair length as well as the patch itself? Yes, it can. Uh, the longer the coat, you tend to have a more ragged patch. And also considering the belly. Now this one, again, nice distribution, but fails as far as the cleanliness of the patches. And this has been a very interesting year to, to be interviewing other KV judges and breeders to see what they think. And now, I would like for you to give some comments on the broken patches on this one. Well, he does have, he does have a little bit of intermixing, as I can see, in here. Here, and also the patches are not clean, as you said. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you say about his distribution? It seems pretty good, but, but I think I re recognize that this patch always runs ar run around the body. Why is that? That I wish I could answer. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if there's specific genes that code for where the patches are on the body. That's something a breeder like yourself would be able to investigate and find out. I have another question. Does it count as one patch if it goes all the way around? Yes, it's whatever, wherever the color is, like this patch here, this patch, one could argue, goes the whole way down across the belly, then we have a separate patch on top of it. This white would be a patch, and even up here would be a patch. So it's just like taking, so it's just like taking a real, oh, but just putting a bunch of random colors on it. Yes. Yep. Okay. Do you want to give comments on this one also? What would you say on this satin? Mm -hmm. What would you say about the patches there? She has nice clean cuts. Cuts, but. That right here, it's a little jaggy. Yeah, and he needs more patches. Patches of this of the lemon. He needs more lemon patches. Patches. So 
happens when you flip them over, you see a little lemon of goo patch right there on his chin. Yep, and you get a little bit of a split on the belly, but you're heavier on your left side. Yes, and there's not very many patches, so it's all, as I said earlier, but in this case, it's taken a white and pink colors on it. And it's great silver. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What do you have anything else you want to say? Um, yes. How many different colors can be in a broken? Oh my. Um, that part I can't say I, I can answer entirely certain, but um, I, I know at least three. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.